Now, there's one group trying to get a message out to some of Australia's brightest young people about how great it can be to live in regional and rural parts of New South Wales. It's the Rural Allied Health and Medical Society. What they try to do is to entice some young health professionals to the bush. They have a rural appreciation weekend. It starts in the Riverina today. Joshua Mortimer is the rural co-chair of the society. He has literally arrived in Wagga minutes ago, got out of the car, walked in through the front door and said... Let's get on the radio. G'day, Josh. Yeah, good. Thanks for having me on. Thank you very much for coming in. Tell us a bit about the program. Yeah, so essentially, yeah, we're, we're taking about 100 students from um, studying all different things from around Australia and um, bringing them down to Wagga and giving them a good time, essentially, and, and showing them a taste of, of real life. So we're um, kicking everything off tonight with, with a speech from the mayor and a, um, a bonfire, yeah. So about 100 students? Yeah, about 100, yeah. Well, who's making the furthest trip? Where, where from? Um, oh, we've got some down from, from Armadale up in the New England. Um, we've got... Obviously, a whole bunch coming from over in Sydney. Um, we've got Canberra, Orange, essentially the whole region coming over. Yeah. So how important is it for young medical students in particular to come to country areas and see what the country lifestyle is like? Um, I think, honestly, I think it's very important because, um, you, you know, some of us here at the weekend, you know, we grew up in rural areas. But then um, for a lot of the, the students coming over, it, it might be their first time outside of, you know, Sydney or, or Brisbane or the big cities. Um, and a lot of them really just don't know what it's like out here. So so that's essentially the whole point of the weekend is just, just give them a taste of it. Yeah. Now, you're from the country yourself? Yeah, yeah. I'm up from Tamworth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I have actually been to, to Wagga before. My first experience here was actually at um, the, the same weekend last year. So, um, and, you know, I had a fantastic time and I'm continually you know, blown away by how, um, how beautiful the region is. So, it's, so it's we've good got you back. hooked now. Yes, certainly. Excellent, excellent stuff. Now, what's happening over the weekend? Because it's a really action-packed weekend, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got, um, we've got a lot lined up. So, um, as I said, we're kicking off this evening with, with a bit of a bonfire and, and just a bit of a dinner. And then tomorrow we've got um, a whole bunch of speakers lined up for the morning. Uh, we've got a rural GPs from the local area, paramedics, um, dentists, etc. Um, and then in the afternoon, we've got a whole bunch of workshops, you know, live snake demonstration and um, so, some really, um, really educational workshops around uh, mental health in, in regional areas, in particular around um, Aboriginal cultural awareness as well. Um, and then on the Sunday, uh, we've, we're getting a bit more hands-on with some, with some farm activities. So we've got some shearing and some sheep work and uh, farm tour lined up. Um, and then again in the afternoon, we've got some more some more activities and, and, and a bit of a disaster scenario lined up where we've um, involving local emergency services and things to come along and, and sort of play out of um, what they would do in the case of a, a road accident in a, in a regional area. Yeah. Now, this event started in about 2007, so yeah. it, it's been going for a few years now. Yeah. Do you know what kind of success rate it's had in luring students who perhaps were thinking, weren't thinking about country life to actually make that change and make that conscious decision? Look to be the, the uh, to be honest. The um, we, we've had nothing but, but positive feedback from from the students who've attended. Um, I suppose the follow up period is a little bit short to see where they actually end up um, in the long term. But um, we've had a number of students who've who've come to us after the weekend and, and pretty much said, "Look, you've changed my mind about um, about rural areas and and what it really involves." And yeah. Okay. And are we likely to see students in uh, visiting uh, local restaurants and watering holes and so on over the next few days as well? Yes, yes. We've got, um, we've got a bit of a social program lined up as well, so you might catch some of them out and about uh, this evening and over the next couple of days. Okay. So we urge locals to be on their best behaviour yes. too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, give a good impression. <laughs> we want people to come back. We want people to come back. Hey, Josh, I know it's a great a big, a busy weekend for you. Thank you very much for coming in to share a little bit no, of, no, uh, not, with us. It's a pleasure, yeah. Joshua Mortimer is the Rural Co-Chair for the University of New South Wales Rural Allied Health and Medical Society. It's a very long title but well worth it. <laughs> Josh thanks for coming in. Yeah thank you.